What in the world is the connected classroom? It doesn't mean connected things within the room like we're used to doing, but rather how we transfer what happens in that classroom to and from the online world. Is this just the next generation of the 21st century classroom, or is it really something new? It's not really what it looks like inside the classroom at all, but it's more about how the students and teachers engage and make use of all the online resources as an integrative part of the learning experience. How does this even affect what we do in the AV world? It completely re redefines our responsibilities as AV integrators. Now we can't hang and bang projectors, screens, and a couple of ceiling speakers anymore. We're creating a living space that allows the classroom to be the media hub to the world. Well, today we're going to take a look at how that impacts the way we design technology for the classrooms and how we can create a system environment that can be effective today and well into the future. I'm Clay Stalka. And I'm Neil Weber, and welcome back to the AV Meetup Coffee Break, Clay. Hey, thanks, Neil. I had so much going on while I was away. Well, here's an example. This is my wife and I in Key Cocker, Belize. Hang on there, Howard Sprague. You told me you were working on a special assignment. Well, I absolutely was, Neil, but if I showed you that, I'd have to kill you. Uh-huh. Special assignment indeed. Nice guy, that Clay. <laughs> but anyway, I did have a 25th wedding anniversary last week, so Marna and I celebrated in Belize. Well, congratulations, but I'm starting to hear snoring out there, so let's move on, okay? <laughs> okay. So back to the connected classroom, Neil. You said something interesting about the connected classroom being a media hub to the world. Yeah, what I mean by that is everything from inside the room has to come together, both wired and wirelessly. Now, this might be an interactive display, various media sources, the Internet, and, of course, all the BYOD devices like computers, tablets, and even phones. And then the room should also be a hub for connectivity outside the classroom for, like, distance learning, classroom-to-classroom -classroom collaboration, and for bringing guest presenters from off-campus in. Well, that's a great concept, Neil. So how do we conceptually plan to bring all these sources and destinations together easily? Well, this is a pretty con simple concept, actually, and that's why I'm the one talking about it. Everything's done right <laughs> over the network. As we look at that diagram a little closer, you can clearly see that all of the tools and resources that teachers need today are available on the school LAN or the public Internet. And one of the very best ways we've learned to get students engaged is through their preferred line of communication, which is what, Clay? Uh, ignoring each other? No, it's text messaging, Clay. Ah, uh, I got it. So, with that said, let's take it a step further. So, what do you foresee as the driving forces that compel schools to adopt this connected classroom design? Well, here we have a little chart that shows all the advantages that this design brings together. So, up here in yellow are the philosophical advantages. The keys being the engagement of the teacher on the student's home turf. That is to say, in their comfort zone of being digitally connected. It also serves to teach the students the ethical and educational uses of being digitally connected, as well as, you know, general digital citizenship. I have my degree in that, by the way. <laughs> now, down here, we shot the practical advantages of the connected classroom. The key here is that the teacher uses and encourages the students to use online resources for studying and learning to assure a much more engaged class time. And then over here, we have some of the specific tools that are available to teachers in the connected classroom. Key here is that students today communicate much more openly and honestly over the various forms of social media, so why not bring that into the classroom, right? Mm -hmm. So by encouraging the student to communicate in real time via text or Twitter right on the main display, that not only drives class participation, but it also generates a good group discussion and collaboration. Wouldn't yeah, you agree? it does. I do. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the distance learning and group collaboration capabilities within the connected classroom? Well, one of the most engaging aspects of teaching in the connected classroom is interacting with groups off campus. Now, whether it's a session with somebody at a local museum or a gallery or a joined class with students from just across town or even on the other side of the world, those kinds of events make for engaged students and exciting learning opportunities. Yeah, they do. And have you ever heard of mystery hangouts? Uh, I have not. Well, that's where the classrooms across the country connect online. 
and then students ask a series of questions to try to learn the location of the class that they're connected to. Now, you know, it's fun for the students, and it sounds like fun to me, mm. and at the same time, it's an educational experience because they craft geographical, social, and political questions that can reveal the city and the state that they're communicating with. Man, this kind of connectivity makes it possible for students from different schools to collaborate on projects remotely. Not unlike what we've done in the past with distance learning, this allows for a fully collaborative environment to bring in new ideas, share available technologies, and generally promote the atmosphere of collaboration, which we all know is a tool that students are going to need moving into the modern workplace. Yeah, that's a great point, Neil. You know, this is exactly how it's done in business today. We do it here this way in Sterin, and Students need to learn how to work within this environment in order to have a truly collaborative understanding. Well, it's true, and I'm very glad you're back with us because I missed you dreadfully, but uh, also because you're going to show us how classrooms should be designed so they can accommodate the connected classroom for today and for the future. Well, it was not like I wasn't expecting you to gradually phase me back in or anything, Neil. <laughs> That's right. So while I get my thoughts together here, why don't you remind our viewers about another important technology for schools as we move forward into the school integration season. Okay, so check this out. Over the past several years, we've witnessed armed violent attacks in our elementary schools, our high schools, as well as in our institutions of higher learning. School districts and universities alike have taken measures to reduce the risk, but most have ultimately called for the adoption of a centralized notification system as the best course of action to mitigate the risk and to substantially increase the safety of students, teachers, and employees. And how? Luckily, Starin offers a complete network-based notification system that fulfills all the needs and requirements of schools and universities today. The AND, or Advanced Network Devices System, requires no head-in. Each endpoint hangs right on the existing network and operates as a SIP endpoint, just like their network phone system does. As a matter of fact, it integrates right in with the IP phone system, so intercom, paging, synchronized clocks, bells, alerts, strobes, and graphical notification can be controlled by any computer on the network and initiated from any IP phone in the system. Now, each of the endpoints is PoE powered, so a simple network connection is all you need. This makes retrofitting into an existing school is easy and painless, and in many cases, you don't need to pull any wire at all. That makes it easy. Mm hmm. With the included clockwise software, it can stand alone even in schools without existing network phone systems. And plus, it's 100% tested and is fully compatible with all of the major call manager software packages, including the popular single wire, single wire Informacast. Well, now we've come up with an idea that will make your jobs easier in getting this in front of your education customers, too. We've created the document that you see here. Now it's got a link to a video that your customers can watch, and it shows the advantages of A&D IP notification for their campus safety and communications. But we've also left plenty of space for you to add your own message to customize it for your target customers. And we've made it easy for you to quote A&D systems as well. Just go to the Advanced Network Devices portal on the Sterin website and click on the IP paging and, and display estimator. So that's where you're going to fill out your project details and contact information. Then you scroll down to select the number of rooms and the product style for the rooms. And you can clearly see the various product choices for the in-room devices. Next, proceed to scroll down to define the length and ceiling height of the hallways and corridors. And you can see by just hovering over the information icon, you can learn about all the detail needed. Then continue to scroll down where you can select what you'll be needing in the common areas. Once again, you can clearly see the product choices, and here you're going to decide whether you need hallway and corridor displays, or instead if you just need audio paging and notifications for other suspended ceilings, or for either suspended ceilings or finished ceilings. Then you're going to want to choose whether you need any outdoor paging, and you might want to add cafeteria or gymnasium packages to the job as well. Then when you're done, click on the Submit button, and you'll receive a complete bill of materials and price quote. It's really just that simple. Well, wow, that is easy. So when you're talking to your education customers, remind them that in today, in schools today, life safety is more important than ever. Yes, it is. Remember, 
That's right. And remember, the only fully featured network notification system is advanced network devices available only from Starin. So, in order to have a fully connected classroom, we need to build out our room from the network infrastructure, right? So, Clay, where do we begin? All right, here we go. So the first order of business is to coordinate with the IT department to understand their network infrastructure and to make sure that you have access to both the student network and the teacher's network. Now it goes without saying that the students need access from their BYOD laptops, tablets, and smartphones, but you can't forget that the teachers need access to shared content, media, and of course the internet. Now, depending on the network design, some of these resources are likely to be on a private network, you know, accessible only to teachers and staff. So you'll need to learn exactly how this network topology comes together. You'll want to tell IT that you'll need access for both the teacher's private network and the student's network in the classroom. Now, the easiest way for me to have them set it up securely is on a VLAN set aside for only the classroom media hubs. This way, they can apply the security rules that they want and grant password protected access for teachers while they're granting open access for the students. Next, you'll have to choose a media hub. Now, this requires that you ask some pointed questions. And, you know, it has to be more than just, you know, what do you want to do in this room? Well, that, that's because they probably don't even know what's possible today. So, Neil, let's look at some of the tasks that they might want to accomplish, and that'll help you understand what to ask your customers before specifying a connected classroom solution. So, first, we have the most popular task, wireless screen sharing. Now, we all know this is where the teacher or student can show their screen from any BYOD device wirelessly to the main display. Now, a lot of systems do that, right? Next, we have annotation and whiteboarding. Now, this is where you can annotate or draw, draw on the main screen from your personal device or from perhaps a touch-enabled display. Then there's student response and testing. Now, this lets the teacher ask quiz questions or even make up tests that the students can answer right on their personal devices, which gives the teacher a record of the results sorted by student. Now, this one is important, especially in K-12 classrooms. Student Device Management. This allows the teacher to see and manage what the students are doing and allow or disallow their ability to show their screen on the main display. Now, we all know kids sometimes don't pay attention. No. And occasionally, yeah, really. And uh, occasionally they do mischievous things. I know I did, right? <laughs> this prevents that, and so that's an important one. Next, we have one of the features that really most people don't even know exists, common document creation and editing. This allows students to take part in the creation or editing of any document, drawing, picture, or file that's opened by the teacher or for that matter anyone else in the class. This is an extremely powerful feature, but honestly not one that has been widely adopted in the United States as of yet. And finally, video conferencing and distance learning. Now this allows teachers to bring in outside guests or to connect to remote classrooms for a truly collaborative experience. So now you can formulate your questions to assure the school gets what they need for today and what they want for the future. Now once you've discussed the tasks that they want to accomplish in the connected classroom, you'll want to choose a Media Hub appliance. Now, they might want to try to do it all on a classroom PC, I know, but try to persuade them to choose a dedicated appliance. It'll allow the teacher to utilize their computer to have, uh, really, to, to provide the class content, I guess you'd say, without having to juggle tasks and switch constantly between apps during class. Now, like you can see in this picture here, unless you have a teacher who's, engi who's an engineer on the side, I really strongly discourage trying to do it all on a single PC. <laughs> and one of the most feature-rich media hub products that we all should consider is the Novo Pro by Vivitech. 
It'll do everything we discussed except that common document creation and editing. And it's available with a fully accredited professional development program for well under a thousand bucks. Now this solution offers a dual NIC for connection to both the teacher and the student network segments and its compact size lets it fit right behind the flat panel display or even up at a projector. And most importantly, it's very affordable for K-12 school budgets. Next, you got to choose a display device. Now I know some schools are still using projectors and screens, so you know that's one option for them. Of course, flat panel displays are growing in popularity for classrooms, and that's another option. And you have to ask, do they want one or two or perhaps even multiple, uh, multiple displays at each of the student pods? But you know, more and more classrooms are choosing to go with larger interactive flat panel displays these days. So in addition to projectors and screens, we now offer interactive flat panel displays with the Novo Media Hub built right inside. Mm -hmm. Now these self-contained solutions are called Novo Touch. It's just coming out now. They're also from Vivitech, so they're available in 65 inch, 75 inch, 86 inch, and 98 inch sizes. God, that's big. I know it is big and heavy too. Yeah. You, yeah don't try to hang it with one guy, right? <laughs> Uh, you just have to mount it on a cart, or you can mount it on the wall, of course. Then you connect it to power and to the network, and it's as easy as that. You're up and running. Now, if your customer needs common document creation and editing like we discussed, and that would be most likely in a higher ed opportunity, I'd guess, you can step them up to a Kramer Via Media Hub like the Via Campus that you see here. Now, the VIA family of products offers superior streaming video playback as well, as they have the best graphics capability of any classroom collaboration appliance that's available out here today. And again, for higher ed applications, if they want full interactivity across a touch video wall of any size or any configuration, we offer the incredible Atlas by Layer Logic along with the Datapath IO Lite 600, all bundled up and ready for your opportunity. Now this here is a very, very powerful solution. And of course, you can't forget PTZ cameras if you're going to be sharing on the internet or performing distance learning studies. Now we offer cameras from Clear One, PTZ Optics, Huddle Cam HD, including their brand new Perfect Track tracking camera, which is very cool and the newest and finest broadcast quality PTZ camera on the market from JVC. Now it's the one over there on the right and this camera has the very best video quality that I've ever seen in a PTZ camera and it has a built-in streaming video output over IP as well built right in. Mm. So maybe you'll add a couple or four ceiling speakers or uh, surface mount speakers and an amplifier or something you know wired in the traditional way and you're done really. So as you can see here today this is not a difficult process. It's mostly about discussing the opportunity with your customer and encouraging them to envision how they'll bring the connected classroom into their school. And please remember that our Novo Assured Professional Development Bundles let you offer these solutions with all the ongoing training and teaching resources that the teachers will ever need to assist them in adopting the connected classroom into their teaching methods. So Neil, it's that time again. Oh Let's, yeah. Yeah, my favorite. Let's give away a $50 gift card to one of our lucky friends who joined us here today. Yeah, let's do that. I love this part. Congratulations to Carolina Arroz from Florida. Thank you for joining us again today at the AV Meetup Coffee Break. You know, Clay, arroz is Spanish for rice. Oh, I didn't know. I like rice. I'm surprised because <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not very healthy. But And Carolina, if, we, if I have completely butchered your name, I apologize. But congratulations for joining us and congratulations for winning the $50 gift card.
And please tell all your friends and co-workers to join us in two weeks at the same time. And I'll be back yet again, because you might be a $50 gift card winner. That's right. Hey, thanks to everybody for giving us your 20 minutes today to learn more about the Connected Classroom and, more importantly, all the opportunities that are available to you within that concept. Please remember to go to our new Synergy Center website to get all kinds of resource materials to help you with whatever project you might be working on. And then check back regularly as we're constantly adding to our library of videos, white papers, and timely articles on all things AV. And please join us again on Friday, June the 2nd for our next AV Meetup Coffee Break where we're going to look at the AV over IP. And we're going to separate some facts from fiction. We're going to cover Dante and audio distribution, schools and IP, and network video distribution. Uh, net network video distribution. That's a mouthful, so don't so, miss it. It sounds like a pretty timely topic, in fact. Neo, isn't everything we talk about here timely? Well, I meant timely with regard to, you know, what we spoke today here. But did I mention that arroz is Spanish for rice? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. And also, remember, you can go to our website to watch all of our AV Meetup sessions on demand. For more information to set up a demo or to dive deeper into any of our products with a personalized online workshop, please contact your Starin Business Development Manager directly, or you can always email all of us here at my team at sterin.biz. And if you have a classroom opportunity, just call or email our EdTech Specialist, Chris Klein. And he'll be happy to discuss the Novo Assured Professional Development Program for your educational customers. And he can provide application assistance on connected classrooms. He's also a strong contender for coolest hair in the company. Here's oh, yeah, him. he is. Now, our time's up. We do promise to address your questions and interests directly. And it might even be Clay who calls or emails you with your answer. And so that's a, a treat. I'll see you. <laughs> I didn't mean to have my voice roll off like it wasn't a treat. No, <laughs> it is a treat. And that is a treat. That's how it was supposed to sound. We'll see you again on Friday, June 2nd, for our new next AV Meetup Coffee Break. Everybody have a great weekend. So long.